So in Skull and Bones, there are a bunch of different resources that are available. You have things like Bog Iron, you've got Acacia Planks, there's loads and loads of different ones. And in this video, we're going to go through exactly how you can get your hands on loads and loads of different resources really fast. And this is quite simple. Before you even get to St. Anne, at the very start of the game, you're going to have a quest to go and pick up some rum and there's something else you have to pick up as well. But once you complete that quest, as a reward, you will get the crowbar. Then once you have your hands on the crowbar, you will be able to go and break into the shipwreck. And that's where you get the location for St. Anne and make it over there. And like that's basically the beginning of the game. But once you have your hands on the crowbar, if you go to your map and you zoom all the way in, you are going to see these icons that are shipwrecks. And I recommend leveling up your crowbar as much as you can through the carpenter that's found in St. Anne, in the actual outpost. Because the higher the level, the more resources you are going to yield. But once you have the crowbar, you've gone to a shipwreck, you'll be able to pick up all of the torn sails, the rusty nails and things like that. And then you're going to be given the option to force the shipwreck open. If that doesn't pop up, just go to another shipwreck. It doesn't always show up like on every single one of them. But when you get that option, definitely force it open because it's one of the little like quick time events, I'm going to call it, like the acacia planks and things like that. The exact same way you open the shipwreck at the start of the game. But once you're in there, you're going to get a bunch of different resources, including metal salvage, which is really, really important. Because at St. Anne, if you go to the blacksmith, the guy that deals with weapons and stuff, metal salvage is required. You need two of them to craft 100 cannonballs. And you're going to go through cannonballs like it's nobody's business in this game. But it's not just metal salvage. You get a bunch of different resources and it's really, really quick to get your hands on them through these shipwrecks. So if you're low on resources, you need a, a little bit of a boost, then go and visit these shipwrecks. Make sure you've got your crowbar unlocked and everything, which you should have by default if you're at St. Anne and stuff anyway. And then once you get the blueprints, make sure you're leveling it up so that it's more efficient and you're yielding better like rewards. And you're going to get lots and lots of resources this way. And that is exactly how to get resources fast in Skull and Bones. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.